when and how did you find out yesterday about the Claypool trade? Um, Ryan texted me, uh, kind of like before it, you know, all got out and just texted me and told me. What, what was your initial reaction and how do you go about just kind of familiarizing yourself with the guy that, you, that is going to be part of your pass get back now? Uh, how did I go about the situation? Just, just how do you go about like learning about who chases as a receiver and, and what was your initial reaction knowing that you guys got a piece? Yeah, I mean, I was excited, of course. You know, he's a playmaker, uh, big body, uh, athletic, fast, um, you know, great, you know, 50-50 ball catcher. So, um, you know, I was excited, of course, and, you know, just seeing what he can do in practice, so the different things uh, that we do in practice, the routes that we give him. So just really just practicing with him and, you know, getting to throw with him a little bit, that'll just, you know, help me find out, you know, what he's best at doing. Do you think this is a sign of the team showing faith in you? Giving you extra weapons? Uh, I mean, yeah, but, I mean, when you – I think at any time when you trade for – player like him, you're just trying to make the team better. Um, kind of like Coach Flew said, he, you know, we're just trying to make the team better overall. So, yeah. you know, in the last four weeks, your offense has been better and your pass game has been a lot better. Do you think that you've shown them in that month, you know, that, that you can be their guy, you know, for the next five, ten years, whatever? Yeah, for sure. But, um, you know, I'm just going to, you know, keep getting better. I'm not worried about the next five, ten years. I'm worried about this week. So, uh, yeah. Justin, was there a point where you went to Luke and the offensive coaches and said, I want more design runs. I want to, I want to run the ball more. Um, yeah. It was just a matter of them figuring it out at this stage for you? Yeah, it was just a matter of them, you know, putting it in more. And, um, you know, me, I'm willing to do whatever for the offense to, you know, help us win games. So. You're obviously dynamic running the ball. Um, how much confidence does it give you downfield throwing the ball just because those legs are involved so much more? Um, I don't think running – in, I don't think it correlates with me passing the ball. Um, you know, I think it just gives the defense, you know, more things to worry about in terms of, you know, me running the ball or the running back running the ball. But uh, I don't think it does. I don't think me running the ball gives me more confidence passing the ball, uh, to say the least. So. Obviously, the biggest subtraction is on the defense side of the ball, but you are facing this franchise leader or that team. Do you have to step up and kind of make sure that guys don't feel like we're kind of waving the white flag? This season doesn't matter. It's all about the future and kind of, just keep that competitive fire going when guys see Roquan Smith, Robert Quinn leaving this team? Yeah, I mean, nobody, you know, has that mindset on our team. Um, you know, everybody on the team, including the coaches, we want to win games. Uh, we want to win every game. So, uh, I mean, nobody's waving the white flag. Uh, we all, we're all attacking each day, you know, uh, trying to be better, uh, trying to, you know, improve each and every day. So, um, you know, just guys on the defensive side of the ball, they're going to have to step up. Um, and, you know, leadership's going to have to step up over there. So, um, you know, we all talked about it. You know, we we all, you know, kind of you know, went through it. Uh, texted Roquan and, you know, just told him, you know, thank you for being the teammate he was to me, being the brother he was to me and to, to everybody else. So, um, you know, of course, that was a big loss to us. But, you know, we have the leaders on this team and the players on this team to step up. How is your – uh, dynamic with this receiving group improved now. Obviously, your existing chemistry with Darnell, but now getting Nikhil back and adding Chase to this mix. How do you feel that chemistry has grown with the group as a whole? Um, you got to bring that back because the, the question is coming. This is now a wide receiver. Obviously, you add that with your existing chemistry with Darnell. Just how do you feel your dynamic as a quarterback has grown with that wide receiver group? Um, I, I, feel, I feel that we're, we're growing every day. Um, you know, Nikhil just got back, so of course, you know, the more he's with us, the more, you know, chemistry we're getting on the same page. And, um, you know, we're just with the other guys that have been playing, um, just, you know, keep growing with them, keep uh, getting better with them, you know, being on the same page. And, of course, you know, adding Chase to the mix, you know, get, brings us a whole different element. So, you know, of course, practicing with him, you know, just talking to him and, like I said, practicing with him, that'll, you know, just bring our connection. Deeper, so, yeah. Justin, you right, right it and feels uh, like there's, there's faith, that the coaching staff has faith in you um, going forward. Is there, did they say something to you in that regard? Like, you've really shown us a lot this year? Uh, you, they've said I've grown every week, you know, which I, which I think I've had to. But, um, you know, I'm not – I'm just worried about, you know, continued growth and, you know, get, getting better each and every day of practice. So, yeah. What would, you, what would you do this week to try to get – Chase Claypool caught up and ready to <laughs> contribute as much as possible. Uh, just help him with whatever he needs, help him with the playbook um, and you know stuff like that. So, yeah, stay up to practice, run some routes. You're right. Justin Ryan and Matt both talked about their meeting with the leadership council yesterday. What did you take away from that meeting? Is that it? I'm sorry? Uh, Justin, or Ryan and Matt both talked about their meeting with the leadership council. What, just, what did you take away from Yeah, he just told us, you know, he just, I mean, he just told us what the deal was. Um, you know, 
just just transparent and you know that's all you can ask for from you know those two just being transparent and you know if you if you're all on the same page you know there should be shouldn't be any problems um you know all of us in this building are grown men so it's just you know communication is the biggest part of it and if you know we're all on the same page then that's all you can ask for we talked we talked a couple of days ago about the deep ball and then some of the ones that were right there on sunday and some of the ones that weren't how will claypool help you with the deep shot i know he ran a lot of go routes um over the last couple of years um how will he help help, help yeah, us with yeah, it? Yeah, how does it? How does his vertical threat? Help yeah, I mean he's fast. He's athletic. Uh, big build. Um, he's big, fast, and of course he's a great receiver. So just throw it, throw it to him, I guess. <laughs> just in the last two weeks, you guys have scored sixty-two points. There's been a, a, a surplus of scoring comparatively to what came before. What are you seeing in the film and in the review that you that you believe in that that's coming along with with the offense? What am I seeing in the review? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. What, what, is, what has caused that and, and created that uptick? Um, yeah, just uh, execution in the goal zone, um, you know, keeping drives alive on third down, um, and just execution, so just better execution. How does this offense, does, where you are in the offense right now, does that reflect your skill set in a more accurate way than it did at the start of the year? Um, yeah, I guess so. Uh, you know, so. Just with whatever play calls that we're calling, so um, just – Whatever loop you know gets me to run, gets the offense to run. We're just executing it to the best we can, and you know, of course, he's doing a great job calling plays. So um, it's just you know, we're just just executing. So yeah. You, know, you mentioned Ryan texted you about the trade. Day. What kind of collaboration do you have with Ryan throughout the course of a season, and what does that kind of uh, connection with him mean to you? Um, you know, it just you know tells tells us that you know he cares about us, um, and that he wants us to be the first to know from him. So. Uh, yeah, just having that connection with him, having that relationship with him is, you know, definitely important to, you know, us as players for sure. Justin, you seem, like you're, you seem like you're pretty even keeled or wired to be as even keeled as possible to avoid getting too high and too low. But with the recent uh, your progression of the offense, getting Claypool, is there a, an excitement you feel that you have to suppress to not get to, to not get too excited? Or do you just not feel that emotion? Um, I don't think you, you, you uh, want to as a quarterback, of course, you know. You got to go through the same reads. You got to play off of the defense. So, um, you know, it's not high school football where you just get a bigger, better receiver where you can just look off the safety and you know throw it one on one down the field. So you're still gonna have to go through your reads, go through your progressions, and uh, you know, um, of course, we're gonna uh, work his way into the offense slowly and um, you know try to get the ball in his hands. But just gotta stay even killed um, and you know just work your way through progressions and just really want continued growth with the offense and um, you know just everybody getting more comfortable with the offense as. You know, of course, we have been these past few weeks. So just, you know, growing and getting better each and every day.